Tonight, we report on who was appointed to the Moses Lake School Board and look at how many Grant County kindergartners are not immunized. What's going on in sports, Bob? Moses Lake Baseball extends its win streak to 14 games in Big Nine League play. Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. Here's a look at our Weather Center forecast. Good to be with you, everybody. Dry and warm across the area overnight tonight and for the next couple of days. But there are changes in the forecast. I'll bring you all the details in just a few moments. I'm Alan Troop. Stay tuned for all of this and much more on i Fiber one News. From the i Fiber one HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is i Fiber one News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is i Fiber one News, and it starts now. Sharon Palmerton is the newest Moses Lake School Board member. The school board appointed Palmerton yesterday to fill an empty position on the board starting in June. Palmerton told the board she saw the job of the school board as representing the community. She said overcrowding at the schools as one of the biggest issues. Palmerton is an REC Silicon spokeswoman, a volunteer public information officer with the Grant County Sheriff's Office, and helps with the solar races at Big Bend Community College. Vision 2020 is hosting a citywide spring cleanup of Moses Lake on Saturday. Here is Lexi Perry with the story. Vision 2020 is hosting a citywide spring cleanup of Moses Lake on Saturday. Volunteers are meeting at the Porterhouse Restaurant at 8 a.m., which is at 217 North Elder Street. Route assignments, garbage bags, gloves, and safety vests are provided at the start of the event. Service clubs, church groups, and individuals are asked to help pick up trash in designated areas. The Porter House is providing a free barbecue lunch at 11.30 a.m. for all volunteers. The traveling trophy will be awarded to an individual or group that picks up the most trash. For more information or to request a special route to clean up, contact Route Coordinator Alan Harrow at 509-750-0072 or Vision 2020 Chair Bill Eckert at 509-989-1982. For iFiber One News, I'm Lexi Perry. Thank you, Lexi. The Grant County Health District reports nearly 9% of all kindergarten-aged children haven't been vaccinated. The Health District released the information in connection with National Infant Immunization Week and Toddler Immunization Month. District officials have pointed out the rates of certain diseases, such as measles, are increasing. They blame the increase on parents not getting vaccinations for their children. Grant County kindergarten entry immunization rate is 91.2%, which is better than the state rate of 85.6%. It means nearly 10% of Grant County's children remain at risk for preventable illnesses. Shots may be provided to children for free or for little cost. To find out more, call the district's Moses Lake office at 509-793-3520. The menu is set for Big Bend Community College's annual celebration event on May 17th. Celebration is an annual semi-formal dinner and auction. It is the primary scholarship fundraiser for the Big Bend Community College Foundation. The proceeds go to scholarships for students. The quality of the yearly gourmet dinner is the highest priority of the event planners. Tickets for the event are $100 per plate with table sponsorships available for purchase. For more information, contact Big Bend Community College Foundation at 509-793-2006. Now let's take a look at people currently being sought out by the Grand County Sheriff's Office. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. We will be back after this. <laughs> 